Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm going to share with you hopefully a little hack that will work. I haven't completely finished the process, but basically I wanted to take these Erin Condren 8.5 by 11 covers um, and use them in my arc system, my disc system. Um, I had used one of these as kind of like a reference binder for work last year with just important papers and notes. And this was my cover from last year. I got it at Staples and I just thought these are way cuter. So I already cut the edge off of um, this one since these are the interchangeable covers. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the edge off of that one as well. And I have my discs here and I thought with sizing it would work. We're gonna see after I punch it, but it looks like I'll be able to um, make that sizing work. So we'll see after they're cut and punched how much overhang we have. But let's go ahead and cut the edging off of this one first. So I just have a cutting mat here and I'm gonna lay this down. And then I'm gonna get as close to those holes as I can. Um, with my ruler, and this is just a quilting ruler, but you could use any straight edge. And then I'm gonna take my rotary blade um, and cut off that strip, maybe. Push a little hard. And then this is the punch I use. It's the one that I have found that works the best after doing quite a bit of research on reviews and such. It is the arc punch and it does have different settings. Um, so I need to make sure mine's on letter size, which it is. The other thing is that this thing locks and unlocks for easy storage. And then we're gonna see how heavy duty these punches are. That was actually pretty easy. And let's do the second one. And now the moment of truth will be if the disc work, which I think they will, because this is a nice thick lamination. If you're familiar with the Erin Condren interchangeable covers. Looks like I need to dig out more of my discs, but I can do that later. And then let's go ahead and put in a few pieces of paper as well. So much easier to put things on the disc when there's already quite a bit of stuff on there. So let's see. Okay, so I think that that is going to work really well. It's kind of hard to tell because I don't have this fully set up yet, but you can get the idea there. So you can take your Erin Condren interchangeable covers and remove that um, binding on the side, cut that down, punch it, and you're gonna be able to set up. Um, you could even use like the Erin Condren binder lesson plan pages and punch them for discs. I think that would be super cute and still be able to use the fun interchangeable cover. So that's what I plan to do again for this year is set up a reference um, binder just, you know, when you're at a staff meeting or homecoming weeks coming up and they give you all these um, information sheets in your mailbox at work. You can just stick them all in here and they'll all be in one spot. So that is kind of a little hack for you guys, taking your Erin Condren interchangeable covers and making them work for a disc bound system. If you guys have any questions about any of the materials I used, please let me know. Thanks for watching.